Hi guys, Kai here and welcome back. We are starting a brand new series and as you can see it is not FIFA, it is Farming Simulator 2022. Uh, now, I've got to say, I've got to admit, I am very, very new to farming. This is going to be a learning, a big learning curve for me. Uh, we did briefly touch on Farming Simulator 19, um, I think last year at some point. Um, but I didn't really play it that much. I did enjoy it, which is probably the main reason why I wanted to do a little series on here on Farming Sim 22. Um, I haven't watched much episode, uh, many episodes on YouTube, so again, very, very basic um, info on my part. Uh, we've got a lot to learn. Uh, we are using the No Man's Land map. Uh, I believe this was available on Farming Sim 19 as well. Um, so I did see a couple of YouTube videos on this map, so I thought it was pretty decent. There's hardly any um, selling resources, uh, not much water, but we do have this little area here. Uh, this is the land which we own in square 26, or rectangle square uh, 26, I should say. Uh, this is a vehicle that we're starting with as well. You can see we've got a little... Um, truck with a trailer on the back. This is the only field that we've got right now as well. Needs a lot of work as you can see. Um, also in regards to the settings, we will go through the settings as well, probably in this episode. Um, again, um, I don't really know what settings are best to have for myself. We're not going to be having any money as you can see in the top right corner there. We don't have any money to start with. The only thing we started with was this um, part of the land, uh, the truck, and as you just saw there, the chainsaw as well. So that is how we are starting. A truck, land, and a chainsaw, and zero money. So the first things that we're going to be have to do is obviously sell some wood. Now, as also we mentioned, we don't have any selling points right now. So that is actually one of the main things that I want to get started with. Um, purchasing my own sell all selling point and there's loads of trees over here so what we're going to do is cut some of these trees down drive all the way to the main selling point as of now uh, but you will see how far away it is and that is the main reason why we do want to create our own selling point much closer to our base or our farm I should say and um, just to make it a little bit more easier a little faster um, to get the money, sell what we um, harvest in the future as well, of course, if we do want to harvest it there. Then you never know, if we do earn a lot of money, then we can build the actual um, factories or whatever it is where we need to sell the other items um, properly. Uh, but as you know, we are starting at the very, very basics. So let's cut down some of these trees, sell it, see how much money we get for selling the wood as well. Um, hopefully it doesn't take, take too long. Obviously if we do um, take too long, because I think, look at all these trees in front of us, they're the ones that we're going to be cutting down. So I think we will have to probably skip through with a quick little edit. If we could do a speed, a speed edit or just a quick cut. Like that. And as you can see, we are... Um, filling up our trailer very very nicely we have used um, nine pounds worth of fuel so far i believe that's why it's gone down it's got to be the only reason surely uh, the fuel costs probably in the chainsaw uh, but we are almost about done here i think uh, with our first trailer load of wood just check is there any more there's a big log here for us to shove on the back uh, but yeah, all these trees here, which I'm in right now, we're going to look to cut all of those down. Uh, possibly create a new field there, up to that rock over there, as you just saw. Um, let's get these all secure. I think they're all secure. Hopefully they're not going to fall off. And let's go ahead and drive without tipping over. I've got to admit, I don't like the feel of this truck. Doesn't feel safe, that's for sure. But we're going to drive this one all the way to the south point, get it all sold and see how much it actually does go for. Um, just running over some crows there, apologies. Uh, but it is 10 in the morning in August. Uh, one thing I am going to do as well is, oh God, is crash into the trees. That's what we're going to do. We just mentioned not wanting to do that, but the first trees that we come up against and we crash right into them. As I said, I'm not a big fan of how this truck feels so maybe in the future we'll be looking to purchase ourselves a new truck or a van or something with a trailer 
uh, a proper big trailer which we can use to transport any wood needed in the future uh, but let's transport all this to the current cell point and as you can see it is quite a long way from our farm there you can see it is approaching uh, so having a, a sell all sell point on our own land will be a lot easier. I almost lost it again there. We are definitely going to be tipping this truck over. Right, I think this is it. On here. Let's just back it up. And then let's see how much our first trailer load of wood is. Sell wood. Oh, and there we go. 2,100 and what, 16? So not too bad not too bad so with the 2000 i believe we can go ahead and purchase our first little home uh, where would it be construction uh, farmhouses obviously a lot of these are very very expensive uh, but one of the mods i did add was a tent we've got the yellow one there as well but obviously i've only got 2000 uh, so we want to get this down as soon as possible just so we have a nice little um, sleep point uh, so obviously we can get ourselves through to the next day or next month, I should say, uh, with a quick sleep. Uh, so where here we go is the water. Now whereabouts shall we put our little tent? We should probably zoom in a little bit just so we have a better um, eye on where we are going to be staying. It's a nice little tent, two thousand it costs. So that's going to leave us with one hundred and six pound. I can see the little icon at the front of it. Uh, I want it next to the water. Do I want it in the trees though? Do I want it in this little bit of open space here? Uh, there's puddles there. I don't want to put it in the puddle, but I think I might have it right here. Might turn it a little bit as well. Wow, I'm being proper anal with this, aren't I? Uh, do we want it on, on the mud? In the grass? In a bush? Yeah, I think here will be perfect. There we go. Well, it gets rid of the grass anyway, so I was messing about for no reason. Uh, but there we go. We have spent our first £2,000 on a tent. I'm sure we could have got a tent for cheaper in real life, but there you go. We've got a tent for 2000 That's going to keep us safe and warm for the future until, obviously, we can afford ourselves a proper farmhouse. So, let's move on. Let's have a, actually have a quick look. Um, at our new tent, there we are, we drove back, and there it is, there is our new tent. Only space for one of course, but I think what we need to get ahead and do is cut down some more trees. I think we're going to do these ones closer to the tent. Yeah, just open up some space for ourselves, and hopefully we'll be looking good for some more money. So around 2000 a trailer. I think we could get more in the back of our trailer. So I'm going to say between 2,000 and 2,500 each time we take a trailer down there. I'm not sure how much the sell points cost either. So I don't know whether we'll be able to afford one in today's episode or not. Uh, but we are about done on filling up our second load. Uh, we won't go through all this with you guys. I know it's not going to be that fun to watch us filling up the trailer. So when I can edit through... Um, real quick with a quick cut uh, then it's easier on the viewing experience for you guys uh, also if you want to give me any tips any hints of what I should do uh, best ways to earn money uh, then of course use the comment section below I will be reading every comment as I said I'm a very uh, I'm very new to farming so I'm a big farming noob uh, so I'm gonna need all the help I can get And we have lost it. I knew that was going to be coming. And as you can see, we are upside down. And this is going to be a problem because obviously we don't have a tractor or a truck to tip us over. Can I do it manually? Can I just push? No. Fasten. There's no tip truck. So I think what I'm going to have to do is go into the map. I'm sure there was a reset button here somewhere. Uh, where is my truck? Where am I? There we are. There we go. Reset. Now, does it take the logs with us? Or is it going to... Ah, they're there. They're on the floor. At least we've still got the wood, though. I was a bit worried 
that it would absolutely get rid of them. But it didn't. We just need to go pick them all back up. So a little bit more of extra work, which we didn't want, but that is the life of a newbie. I'm sure we're going to be making a lot more severe mistakes throughout this uh, playthrough. Yeah, I would call it survival. Um, but right now it's more of just of a learning challenge, this one. Uh, learning the very basics of farming, learning how to make money on the game, the mechanics of the game, the options that we can go through as well, which we'll probably have a look through soon. Um, it's going to be an interesting learning curve, that's for sure. Uh, but let's get all this wood back onto the um, trailer and then sell it. And we've got quite a few bigger logs this time, so I'm hoping for more than we got in that first load that we sold. So we've got around $95 right now. Put all this on. I'm hoping for around, what, 2,300, shall we say? 2,300. And then obviously we can go back down, cut some more, sell it. We'll probably skip through or cut through to the selling points. That will probably be easier for you guys. Uh, and then obviously we can move to look to buy our first tractor. Or at least lease one. I don't think we've got enough money or going to have enough money to buy one outright. I don't want the the complete cheapest, if I'm totally honest. Uh, but we'll see what's in the market. See if there's anything on sale as well. I believe there is a sale option or a sale um, area as well sometimes. Oh, we don't want that going down. We want that going back up. Um, I think there's one or two pieces of log still down there. So I'm just making sure that that's all secure. We've got one underneath, shove that on top. All this loading faffle. We could have sold this and been back to our farm by now. Uh, but as I said, we are going to be making a lot of mistakes in this series. Not just mistakes on this kind of car crashing and things, but I'm sure we'll be wasting money, uh, buying things which we could have bought cheaper or not even needed in the first place. Uh, is that it? Um, so yeah, you can... You can watch, enjoy my fails as well, uh, but hopefully we do prog progress through and hopefully run a nice little farm in the future. It's going to be interesting to see how we get on, that's for sure. But anyway, let's sell our second load of logs. The second attempt of the second load, that is. Uh, let's just park it nicely. Don't tip over. Let's go and sell it. What did we say? 2,300? That was actually lower. Oh my days. Well, it's another two grand anyway. We're up to £2,147. Let's get ourselves back to the farm. Chop down some more wood. And as you can see, we are on our road to selling again. I've got to say, this drive to and from the farm back to the selling point is a pain in the butt. We need that selling point as soon as we can get it. That's for sure. Uh, we'll have to see how much it's worth. Again, I don't know if I'll do it in this episode or we'll wait to the next one. Uh, but there we go. That one's a little bit better. 2,189. We're slowly getting there, boys. We're up to four, almost four and a half grand. Uh, so again, let's drive home, cut down some more wood and get ourselves back on the way uh, to here on the return. And then we'll have around six and a half thousand, I believe, when we sell the next load. I have no idea how much a tractor is or even how much it is to lease. So I'm not really sure what I should be aiming for, if I'm honest. Uh, but let's drive back, get some more wood, try and get ourselves towards 10 grand. Here's the next load, as you can see. A lot of branches on this one. Longer logs as well. So I'm hoping for more money. Uh, let's stop right there. Sell this load. And boom, £2,020. So up to £6,338. Not too bad. For the start, anyway. There's going to be a lot of grinding, that's for sure, in this series. Especially in this episode. Uh, because obviously we've got nothing. But as you see, we've got another load of wood here. And a lot of bigger, thicker bases of the trees. Um, so maybe this one will be a little bit more. We've drove very, very carefully on the way back. That's for sure. Look at it. It's absolutely overloaded. Uh, but let's see how much this load sells for. Oh, that one was much better. Look at that. £3,204. Superb. So now we need to look 
um, at buying ourselves a tractor or leasing a tractor. So we've got one for just under 40,000. There's another one there, just under 40,000. But again, I don't know how powerful these are. Uh, we want to be buying a medium tractor, at least for now. Uh, but of course, I think we will just have to lease one out. Uh, we are allowed to lease. I'm not, le I'm not giving myself any um rules as such i'm not banning myself from doing anything as i said it, i wanted it to be a survival series but i think right now we just need to learn the basics we learn the game because obviously i've not really played farming simulator that much in the past uh, especially with all these um vehicles i've got to learn learn how to farm uh, so we've got a lot of work to do a lot of information to try and take in and keep in my head uh, but i think we're gonna go for the cheap one right now uh, 112 horsepower i think that one goes up to oh no 70 oh dear uh, but anyway i think that should be enough just to take this plow just so we can plow our first field uh, so 2000 it's going to cost us to lease which is quite a lot for saying we don't have a lot of money and next we need to get the plow where are the plows there they are uh, so 14,000 to buy, 16,000 to buy. I think we can get away with the cheat one. Oh, let's go for this one. This one, 800. I think that cost us to lease. Will it go on the back of our tractor? Though? Look at the size of it. It's twice the size of our tractor. Uh, but let's drive in front of it. Attach it to the back. And then we should be all good to go. Let's go plow our first field. Let's go. Oh, oh no. Okay, maybe not. We need a weight, right? I believe we need a weight on the front of our tractor. Oh my day. So that's more money. Hopefully not too much. Maybe I'll have to buy one. There's a the weights. Uh, 650. Uh... Well, I don't. We probably won't need to buy one, though, will we? To be honest, because uh, we're only leasing this tractor. I don't know which one to go for. So we'll just go for this one. Uh, lease it thirty-five pound. There we go. That should be fine. We'll lease this one. Uh, get it on the front of our tractor, and then of course we can reattach the plow to the back of the tractor, and then hopefully drive back to a farm and get ourselves plowing our first field which i think what i'm going to do with the first field uh, is hire a worker to plow it um so whilst he does that i can be selling some more wood uh, just to get ourselves being a little bit more uh, productive in this first episode uh, but the tractor looks good with the weight on now let's test it is it going to tip back Ooh. He's looking good. We're driving, boys. I'm surprised that we're we are okay. But thankfully, the weight has done the job. I'm not going to be turning these corners too quickly. That's for sure. But let's drive back, and then we can get plowing. Right, we are back at home. You can see my tent over there, and this is our first field. Now, we're going to plow this one, get this one ready, and then obviously we need to be seeding it and get it ready to grow and then harvest, of course. So let's get started, and we'll plow this one. I've got a lot of work to do. As I said, what I'm going to do is probably um, hire a worker. There he is, already doing his job. We'll get him working. I'm not sure how much it is going to cost him wages, and the only reason I've wanted to do that is just so I can go ahead and chop down some more trees. Just so we can earn some more money whilst he's getting that ready for seeding. Um, but yeah, as I said, I have the very basic knowledge of looking after the farms. I'm not going to be uh, trying to get the best out of my crops straight away. Um, because I know it's going to cost a little bit more than the very basics. Uh, so we're just going to plow it um seed it and then obviously harvest it and then get it ready for the next um the next crop after that uh, but oh what's this 
Where we're dropping, boys? Are you going to give me a a, uh, a loadout? No? Well, I wasn't expecting that. A helicopter on farming sim. That was pretty cool. No man's land. There you go. We've got ourselves a little friend. He likes to check over once in a while just to make sure we've not killed ourselves or run ourselves over with our truck or our tractor. Uh, well, let's get these trees chopped down then, guys, and then obviously get some more money. Hopefully by the time... Uh, I want about 10,000 and then hopefully by the time we've got the 10 grand the field will be done um, Some more wood a little piece here get this all loaded up travel all the way back to the selling point And then we'll see how much I'm hoping this one will be um, a nice load because it's a, the, the bigger trees the thicker trees as you can see And we're getting through these trees pretty quickly as well. I have to say um, the magic of editing and the cutting and gets us through very very fast but I can assure you in game real time it did not take um, this amount of time it took even longer probably 10 times longer that's for sure uh, but let's sell this load then a big load let's hopefully get ourselves around to eight and a half thousand with that load there Oh, that was an even better one. Look at that. 3,338. So we're almost at 10,000. We're only 500 off. You can see it's slowly going down already. That would be the fuel cost, I believe, for the tractor. Um, and maybe the higher, the hiring um, wages. Has he finished? We just filled up another load here. Oh, we almost went backwards then. Almost did a wheelie in our little trailer. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this trailer, but yeah, I think he is finished, isn't he? Let's just park up and go and check him out. Make sure he hasn't had a heart attack in the cab. He's left one track here, so it looks like we're going to have to do this ourselves. Can we do it? What's wrong? You don't have access to this land? What are you on about? This is my land. Oh, look at that. It's right on the map in the bottom left there. It's right on the edge of the map, so we'll probably get away with moving over to the right uh, an inch or two. Can we do that? Hopefully the plough doesn't go over and we're still on our own piece of land. Let's have a look. Lower. Is that going to take it up? I think that's going to be fine. There we go. Don't worry, worker. We'll do it ourselves. There you go. We're having to manually do a little bit of ploughing. It beats cutting down trees anyway. Uh, it's took his wages as well, I've noticed, out of the money in the top right. About £200, I believe it was. 200 300 something like that. Um, but we'll get that back shortly when we sell the next load of wood, which we have on the back of our trailer. Oh my god, look how slow ploughing is. But obviously, once we've got ourselves a better tractor, uh, a bigger plough... Uh, bigger fields, it'll be a lot better. We'll be earning more money when the harvest start coming in. Uh, still a load of trees in front of us. I'm probably going to cut down all of these trees in front of us. Then that gives us the option to either expand this farm that we're on right now or go behind the trees and create a new one. I'm not sure what I'm going to do just yet, uh, but there we go. That is our first field already. It's all ploughed. We can probably take this plough back now, can't we, and get rid of get this one dealt with and get ourselves a cedar now uh, we'll probably have to buy seeds as well not probably but we'll definitely have to buy seeds um, so let's take this one back and then hopefully we can afford a cedar which I believe we will be I'm not sure how much they are to buy um, but obviously we'll lease it for now now uh, once we know the full mechanics of farming sim guys um, a lot of information from you as well in the comments uh, and uh, well, this is, yeah, I'm gonna cut my leg on this damn plow. Um, yeah, we'll we'll do a proper survival. That's what I'm looking to do in the future. A proper survival on a new map of some sorts. It'll be very interesting to do. Just see how far we can grow um, our own business, our own farm. Uh, we, we are looking to do that on here, of course. But as I said, this is more of a learning curve for me right now. I'm learning about um, all the machines, the tools, and the tractors. Um, just the mechanics of the game the options the best options to use as well uh, But here we go. Let's get ourselves a cedar. Uh, I think we can get away with the blue and orange one the HK 25 uh, How much is it gonna be to Lisa? That's the thing 
It can do wheat. We are looking to plant wheat. Uh, 1,708 pounds. So I guess we can do that. That takes us down to 7,500, uh, which is not too bad. But where on earth are the seeds? There they are. It is seeds, isn't it, that we need to buy, not wheat. Wheat is for uh, feeding the animals, I believe. Uh, we'll get two bags of this. This is not too expensive, actually. Eight, we're at 1,600 for two bags. Uh, I'll probably leave it here as well in the car park, and then we can just fill up our cedar here. I hope one full cedar will be able to complete our little patch of um, ploughed field. It should do. It's not the biggest fields. Hopefully we don't have a problem connecting this as well. There we go. Attach. Right, we're not falling back, are we? No, we're looking good. We're looking good. Right, let's refill the seed then. We want wheat. We've got that selected, I believe. There it is. It is full. How do we close the cover N? There we go. And we're ready to go. Hopefully we have no trouble driving back down to our farm. Uh, but the cedar is ready. Our field is ready. And shall we do the same thing again and hire a worker to do it? Again, it would be better for myself if I did it myself. But I want to be selling some more wood. Because um, cutting down the trees and selling the wood, driving all the way back to the selling point is so time consuming right now for ourselves. Um, I think it's just easier to hire a worker. This fruit cannot be planted in August. Oh no, boys. What am I going to do? This fruit cannot be planted in August. Oh my days. So what I'm going to do, I think the only thing I can do is turn off seasons, right? Let's have a look in the options. Not sure why I'm driving all the way backwards. Let's have a look at the options. Um, can we turn off seasons? And then get planting. So there you can see the crop calendar. Planting season is next month. So September, October we should be planting wheat. And right now is the time to be harvesting it. Um, but forget all that. We are going to get rid of seasons completely. Um, and so just so it helps us plant and learn the planting process. The looking after the fields and all that. Uh, but where is it? Seasonal growth. I think that's the one, right? Get rid of that. Days per month, we've got set to one day right now. Uh, I don't want snow on. Again, I, I think that will be something um, too expensive for us. And we're going to get rid of all this as well. Just for now, just whilst we learn the game. Um, we want to learn the very basics. Then we've probably turned those on one at a time. Uh, and learn all about weeds, lime, uh, field stones. I think actually this field does have uh, field stones on, but we are going to ignore those right now. We want to get these seeds uh, planted, and then we'll be ready to go. Start the growing process on our first load of wheat. But there we go. Hire a worker. Here's there. You can see the field stones on the field there. That's a good view, actually. Oh, my God. Look how slow it is. Go on, you can do it. Well, whilst he's doing that, super slow, we can go ahead and get quite a lot of wood sold in that time. So hopefully uh, by the time he has done it, we can get ourselves, what, over 10 grand, over 15,000, probably even towards 20. But obviously we're all going to be buying things in between that time. Uh, but here we are selling a big load of uh, wood here, actually. This should be a nice 3,000 maybe. See if it's over three grand. It is. Wow, nearly 4,000, that one. 3,687, yeah, which is probably the best trailer full of wood we have sold so far. Um, but I think, guys, we are going to be coming towards the end of today's episode. I'm going to drive back. We'll check on the progress of our worker. We are coming towards the end of the day anyway, as you can see there. Or I should say the end of the month, because each day is a month, right? Um, it's going to get a little bit cloudy overnight as well. And then obviously we will be exiting August, going into the next month. 
and we are just under 10,000 so we've had a pretty positive start to our farming life on Kai's farm remember we cut down some trees we've got ourselves a tent uh, we've leased a tractor a weight as well of course we've also rolled our truck over full of wood we almost killed ourselves on day one uh, but look at that he's not even done one strip yet so he's going to take a while to get that done uh, but as i said guys leave your suggestions and your tips in the comment section below hey, i'm going to need all the help i can get uh, there's our little tent as the sun sets uh, I hope you have enjoyed it. I hope you are going to be enjoying the series as well going forward. There he is. Look how slow. I feel sorry for him. I'm sorry that you've got a terrible um, tractor there, fella. Uh, but there are the field stones that we mentioned earlier. We're going to ignore them for now. I'm not really sure of the um, consequences of leaving them. Uh, you can see they are there even when you um, seed them too. But... We'll get to that. We'll learn all about field stones in the future. Let's go and get into our tent and then we can end the end, uh, the, end the first episode. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. As I said, leave a comment in the section below. Leave a like if you did like it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.